How you doing, uh, Sabrina? I didn't know your name. I always always saw your your uh, your YouTube channel, Nerdy and Quirky. Uh, I love Nerdy and Quirky. That's uh, kind of my thing too. Is uh, I'm not really Nerdy Quirky, but uh, uh, Quirky. Thing is, I'm nerdy, but Quirky is that's kind of mild. Putting it mildly, uh, I'm on on the extremely bizarre side of things. So. Uh, it was never that I was just slightly quirky. I was uh, significantly more than that, so uh, <laughs> that's why I'm living on the internet as a cyborg alpha. Uh, but anyways, uh, I was watching your video, uh, Knowledge versus Memory, and I got a number of friends who uh, uh, went through uh, the similar programs I went through. I went through the um, uh, specialist uh, uh, astrophysics programming uh, at uh, the university here in Toronto, and eventually became a uh, a uh, physicist, a, a quantum physicist, with uh, also looking at astronomy, uh, working on astronomy uh, with my own research institute. As I said, I set up my own re research in institute, uh, and I've been doing that, doing uh, open exploration of the universe, and yeah, that definitely qu qualifies me as uh, nerdy. Uh, but, uh, as I said, I had friends who came up with me uh, who didn't necessarily succeed in the end point of becoming uh, <laughs> a scientist. And uh, their marks going into, into, into university were very good. My marks, uh, in my experience in life, was never that, uh, that of the average um, nerdy person. Most nerdy people, they can view as uh, very high marks as yourself. Uh, very, uh, stu uh, very uh, loyal to school, very school or school oriented. I was never that type of person. I was always the type of person. I'm a curious person, and I'd figure things out. And I'd end up places in this figuring out. Uh, I'd end up places where I shouldn't be. And so that's kind of where uh, uh, I or where and how I ended up in the astrophysics program. Uh, that I ne didn't necessarily belong there. I just kind of ended up there and did my sniffing around and ended up with my research in institute. And 20 years later, here we are. <laughs> well, most people uh, don't necessarily have that experience. Uh, one thing I did find is, and this is sort of uh, as I observed uh, other people going through the program, this is what happened to my friends, is that I was always of the opinion that you had to know everything, that these uh, nerdy people who got high marks really knew their stuff. But I sat down and started talking to them and asking them questions about various different things and how they understood it. It's my thing, I, I, I can't memorize things. I'm not a person who can memorize. Because what happens, in order to memorize, you have to accept what you're being taught as being true. And I'm not the type of person who says, oh yeah, what I'm reading is true. I always question. I always question whatever I see, whatever I read. I question it. I ask, well, how do they know what they know? You know, where do they get their information from? How do they learn this, learn this stuff? And as soon as you start uh, making these probes amongst your friends as you're coming up, you'll find out the, the answer is, well, I don't know. I just simply memorize this stuff. I said, well, you must remember what happened way back when, on the, uh, two years ago, and that doesn't know. I said, I study this stuff, I learned this stuff for the test, and then after the test, well, it was all gone. <laughs> and that was actually a quite common answer that I found throughout most of the years of university, and most of, uh, still now, so now I find, I find that there are a lot of people out there who memorize, who know their, know their stuff temporarily, but not permanently. And I guess that's the difference between uh, RAM, random access memory, which is temporary, and ROM, which is a read-only memory, which is permanent. Or, or what we call it, like, a hard, like, like hard drive storage, which is somewhat permanent. Uh, it's more permanent ROM, but it allows you to see a start. Hard drive allows you to store large amounts of memory. Well, ROM is only a smaller amounts. So, take your choice. Your long-term memory, the way you understand things, is either a hard drive or ROM, and your temporary memory, which is memorizing, is uh, uh, RAM. Uh, but the thing is that you do have to uh, have a good library in terms of your memory uh, to end up 
knowing things. So there's a big a bit of memory going on, but uh, in terms of memorizing going on, but memory isn't the key part. It's the actual exploration that's the key part. It's being able to go out and find information, and as you start doing the work more and more, uh, you begin to recognize bits and pieces over and over again. You get, like, in other words, if you're watching a video on the Earth, right? Uh, let's say a documentary on uh, uh, on seals or whales. Uh, and you'll notice like, as you start watching more and more of them that they're in the water. And as you start seeing more and more of these documentaries, you'll start noticing behaviors and so on and so forth. And as you stay in that particular topic, you'll begin to remember more and more about that topic. Simply because you're going back over and over it again. So in other words, it's your exposure to the environment that allows the long-term memory to really uh, grow into knowledge. But the knowledge, and this is where you have to be careful with knowledge, knowledge is not, is not or ever absolute. Knowledge as the absolute is always asymptotic. In other words, it can be approached, but it can never be reached. <laughs> and this is what keeps a scientist going, such as myself. Open exploration is striving to go further and further, asking more and more questions. And as you get to ask those questions and pick up information, you add it to your library, and your library grows and grows and grows. And as your library grows, you begin to know more. That's how I got to where I'm at. And I don't know whether, I, I don't say I don't know, I do know. The tests and exams of university did not get me to where I am now. So I'll say that. But well, here's what I will say. I know, I know that most of the people who had the top marks, uh, if you look at, and this is standard for across most universities, particularly good universities, if you look at the physics program, from mo an astronomy program for most top universities, you will find that the average success rate, particularly after the first year, is only 20%. In other words, there's an 80% failure rate. So, getting where I got to, knowledge is not memorizing. It is experience over long periods of time. So, it really depends on where you want to go. Anyways, I hope this kind of uh, sheds some light on memory and knowledge and where things are. My time is up. I'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, bye-bye.